Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing an informative video on the laser engraver and cutting machine. It's called the Falcon A1. It is a very beginner friendly machine. I am going to give you a link in the description below where you can save some money if you want to purchase one. I am not making a commission off of it. This is just an informative video. So if you want to how to use it, stick around. I'll show you how. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. All right, Maxwell. Today I'm doing an unboxing of the Creelty Falcon A1 laser engraver. It's a 10 watt laser engraver and it comes fully assembled in your box. You do not have to assemble anything once you take it out of the box. And it's packed in here pretty tight so you will have to get somebody to help you get it out of the box. I end up having to cut down the sides of the box to actually get it out. Once you get it out of the box, this is a pretty light machine, so you can pretty much pick it up and move it wherever you want to. And then save the cardboard, because they got some great cardboard in there for crafting. <laughs> and you will have to remove a lot of the plastic on it. And then the plastic on the front handle, you're actually going to have to take that handle off to get the plastic from underneath it, because it was put on there so tight. You are going to have to remove the handle to finish getting it off. And this machine is packaged very well. It comes with a lot of styrofoam inside just to hold everything together. And I guess that's really why you don't have to assemble anything because they've already got it packaged so well. And then all the components that you need are packed inside the same box. This is your little airflow piece. You're going to have to connect that up to the machine. But this is really a real plug and play type machine. It's not complicated. This is a great user friendly beginner machine. And it is all compact in one small unit. And all the connections are located on the side of the machine and it comes with a little instruction book telling you exactly how to put it together. But everything on the side of the machine is labeled so you know exactly where everything goes. There's no guessing about this machine. It was pretty straightforward and easy to set up. And then for venting your machine, it has a little accordion hose that goes onto the back of the machine. And then you can pipe this outside of a window if you don't have the air purifier. But they did send me the air purifier that made it a little bit easier. And I would highly recommend doing that because it does make it not so smoky in your home. Okay, then on the side of the machine is a little red button. You can have to turn that to turn it on the first time. And if you're in the middle of using it and say it catches on fire or something happens where you want to stop it instantly, that is your kill switch right there. That is a great feature for this machine. And this is what the air purifier looks like. It's kind of a small compact machine. It's an additional like $179, but very much well worth it. So you don't have to run your cord outside of a window. All the air flow goes through that machine and it keeps the smoke from being in your home. And it just hooks up to a hose right to the back of your machine and it's pretty easy to assemble. I mean all you really need is a screwdriver and that's pretty much it. They have their own software for you to download. You just get it at CraftSeek and it's available for either the Mac operating system or the Windows based system. You just download it, bring it into your computer. You can bring in your own SVG files if you already have your own SVG files or you can choose from the large library of files that they already have made up. Now these are all already in your um, software. You just click on the home page and then you can kind of scroll through them and you can pick something that you want to make. And then once you pick what you want to make, you just click on it and then click make it and it'll bring it right into your software and lay it out for you. It's pretty simple. Okay, now I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to bring in some stars, the SVG file stars. I'm going to set it in the middle of my platform here, kind of enlarged a little bit because I want it to be the full size of the board. I'm going to choose cutting file because I want to cut it. Then I'm picking the basswood, 3 mil, 300 by 300 and I'm going to confirm. Then I'm going to send it to absolute cords and then I'm going to frame it. Then I'm going to put my piece of wood inside the machine and then you have this little gauge that you have to set up every time you do this. You're going to set it on top of whatever you're doing and then you're going to set it to whatever the mill is that you're doing. So I'm going to line this up and then you're going to lower the head down on top of that and then you're going to tighten up the screws on the side of it and then you just pull that little platform out and then that'll be your exact setting so it knows exactly how deep to cut. And then just remove that little piece before you start cutting. This is what it does when it frames. It goes around and it locates exactly where your piece of wood is. It identifies it so it knows exactly where to cut. So you have to do the framing part first. That way you know exactly where you're going to cut if you need to make an adjustment on your piece of wood that's inside the machine. 
Okay, then once you hit make it, it starts cutting it out. Now I'm cutting out a whole page of stars, so it's going to take a little bit of time to do this. The exact time it took to cut all these out was about 20 minutes. And you do want to stay with your machine while it's cutting out. Anytime you're using a laser machine, if it does catch on fire, you have an opportunity to hit that red button on the side to turn it off. I would highly recommend investing in a fire blanket just to have with you in case you have any incident like that. I've been using laser machines for years and I've never had that problem before. I would highly recommend investing in one of these little honeycomb platforms because if you don't and you're using it right onto your board, this comes with the machine, it will engrave into that board that's below whatever you're cutting. This is really a good handy tool and I'd buy it through them. I bought one through Amazon and it was way too thick and I couldn't return it. And then you can see how detailed this cut this out. It was really precise and you could use these on so many different projects. I definitely recommend this machine for a beginner because it was real user friendly and if you're just using it to cut out little things with wood, definitely a great buy for the money. This opens up a lot of possibilities where you can create your own embellishments for your own projects. You could also start an Etsy store if you wanted to make shapes, cut them out and package them and sell them. It just opens up a lot of opportunity to have your own designs on your own projects. And you can also use it to make your own gifts for Christmas presents or birthdays or any kind of um, holiday celebrations. In creating different sizes, you can layer. I'm going to go ahead and paint these different colors and then I'm going to layer them together to show you. This is a great way to make a, like a tree topper or you can use these on a wreath. But if you do them in different colors, you can layer them and it does give a lot of dimension to your product. And since you're kind of limited on the thickness of the wood that you use in these machines, you can create multiple of the same item and then stack them to give them a thicker look. I'm going to give my stars a little bit more vintage look. I'm just taking some of the Tim Holtz Distressing Ink and the Walnut Stain Color, and I'm just going around the edges of all of them. This will give it a little bit more depth as well. Especially when you're stacking things, it does give it a little bit of more contrast between the pieces. And then I'm just going to glue all these together, just kind of line them up. And I'm just using hot glue to attach these together. Now you could use wood glue if you wanted to. And then I'm going to take a little sander and I'm going to sand the edges to give it a little bit of more rustic feel. And look how cute those are. And I've given you a link in the description below. If you want to save $50 on this machine, just use the link to go to it. But this was a very user-friendly machine. And for the what the quality of the work it did, I definitely recommend it because it's on the way low side of most laser engravers. And you can add a rotary tool to your kit if you want to. Right now you can get it for $143, but you have to do it at the time that you're actually purchasing your machine. And that way you can engrave on mugs and things like that. This machine will also engrave on things like wood, acrylic, glass, metals. You can engrave on jewelry. You can personalize a lot of things. Definitely a beginner, user-friendly machine. I definitely recommend this machine for somebody that wants just to get started. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and if nobody's told you today, you're awesome. See you next time. Thanks for watching.